what? Oh, well, she does that, she's going to get pregnant. <laughs> totally pregnant, yeah, yeah. Hello, everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we're looking at another review of things I like. And recently, I've got back into trading cards. There doesn't seem to be that many about that I like, but one of the good ones I have found is Marvel Hero Attack trading cards. And this is Series 3, apparently. I didn't see the other ones. So let's take a look at it. So here's the new Hero Attack trading cards. It's probably been out for a while, actually, but I found it in, what did I find it? Smiths, I think. <clears throat> so yeah, you get the folder, you get a poster, if you put, I've put this on YouTube already, so I'm not going to put this up, which is basically the gaming mat, and then you get a, uh, gets a description of all the different cards in here, but I'll go into that, uh, there's some good points and bad points about this uh, particular folder, so I'll put it out as we go along, but I've filled most of it up now, I think I need about 60 cards left over and at the front you get the special uh, rainbow foil cards the spider-man one is the you only get that in the uh, in the bag when you buy the folder so you get the rainbow cards which there are 16 of then you get the mirror foil cards which there are 48 of and then the rest of them are the normal cards so um, Yep, I'll take it this is all to do with the Avengers, Spider-Man and Hulk cartoons that are all out, but I've actually not seen any of them. I'm going to wait and buy them on Region 1 DVD soon, hopefully. So, yeah. So you've got the Spider-Man characters, the, the back of the Spider-Man ones you can tell, so you've got Ultimate Spider-Man. Uh, yep, there's all the hero, uh, heroes and villains, leader, devil dinosaur... I'm quite a big Marvel fan, so I know most of these. And there's some more than there. You've got Flash Thompson. This is the Hulk Smash series. One of the things I didn't like about this card, um, they didn't put the numbers on the cards, which number it is. So you have to kind of work out where it goes in the folder. So you have to go back to the numbering or you have to go to the poster to work out which card goes where which i thought was a bit of a pain in the ass i don't think i've brought a card set before that doesn't have numbers on the back of what card it is and there's some more of them also i didn't like the way they put um two cards the same so they've got two of black widow and then two of captain america in a row so i thought that was a bit pointless doing that thought they should add something else that Captain America card is basically exactly the same but it's got a different colored background and it's a bit closer shot of the picture so that was pointless and I've done it with a few of the cards as well like Devil Dinosaur there was a card back there Devil Dinosaur but they just made it shiny so I thought that was a bit pointless uh, yeah we're going through there we've got sexy Aunt May there uh, Agent Coulson, which I seem to have got a lot of cards of that. And then the Spider-Man, uh, they were into the villains. It goes the heroes and it goes the villains. And... Yeah, I think they could have done some... A bit more effort for the cards. And there's also a mistake in one of them. They've called one of the heroes a villain. Or villain a hero. I can't which way it is around now, but... Yeah, and one of the major, oh there we go, Whirlwind, I've got him down as a hero, and he's a villain, him there, he was an Avengers villain, and I think one of the major problems with this card set is you get these joint pictures here down the bottom, and they don't match up very well, they should have done them as a three, instead you got the first part of the picture at the top, and then you got the other part three parts of the picture down the bottom so it doesn't really link up very well so I thought that was a bit shit I thought they could have done a whole page spread just done like a big poster they could have done one of the heroes and one of the villains there but nope they've done it like that so it's not a major thing it's just so, sort of like a it's a design thing I think they could have sorted it out 
then they've done it the same with the with the villains there as well we've got uh, Craven the hunter down the bottom when it doesn't fit into the picture yeah so that's that and then the uh, one of the also rare cards sets in this is the Guardians of the Galaxy movie have just taken pictures out of the film which I'm not really keen on I think it's a bit pointless but you kind of have to get them if you want to complete the set so these are quite rare ones um, don't get many per, per packs I think I get like one every like five or six packs so they're quite hard to get hold of and then there's some more of them there left some spaces and then also you get a little mini poster which is the same as the big poster just explains the games and that also they did um, two Captain America cards if you see there and you only got those with the DVD version of the Winter Soldier I don't think you got it in the blu-ray which I thought was a right fucking con and I brought mine off of eBay in the in these two I think they cost me about three pounds so um, I'd be a bit pissed off with that if I had to buy the DVD and the blu-ray but there we go but you have to do it to complete the set and then there's the back page it's got the rest of the villains shiny there it's got the rest of the villains listing and team cards vehicle cards and movie cards which is basically the guardians cards so there we go so that's a nearly complete folder it's cost me quite a bit of money but it's been quite fun quite enjoyed buying that and I've got a couple of packs of cards here to open and these are the these are the cards very shiny so yeah you get I mean, get it per pack. I think you get about five per pack, eight actually. So let's open a couple of packs on camera and see what we got. Now a pound a pack in this country. So we have that's better. Get in shot now. So we have. Red Hulk Freighter Vehicle, got that one. A Bomb Fighter, I think I've got that one as well. Um, Modoc, looks like a, a giant potato with legs, amazing. Imagine that getting stuck up your arse. Uh, Dr. Kirk Connors, which is, I think that's a, that's a shiny one. Um, Luke Cage. Got Wolverine in mid flitty jump there. Uh, Captain America. See him? Part of the four picture set. And then Danny Rand, otherwise known as Iron Fist. And then one of the little folder open out how to play things. You don't get many of those in the packs. That's pack one. Pack two is the very rare Aunt May Naked trading card not really, you bunch of perverts, but you would have liked that so we've got Sandman Spider-Man's Foe Hulk Power Man oh, Team of Heroes, a load of them there Spider-Man Nova Power Man Iron Fist and White Tiger quite a cool one Nick Fury shiny card uh, The Thing, I've got this one loads of times and the Rhino and Annihilus one of the Fantastic Falls villains and another pull out thing which I said you don't get many but it seems to be getting loads now so that's it that's all the cards so let's put those in the folder uh, definitely worth picking up seem to be going for about a pound each on eBay and hopefully I'm going to collect the I finish this set off soon so I can spend my money on something more worthwhile so yeah hope you enjoyed this video it's quite fun to be getting back into trading cards again I remember when the the market 
bottomed out with them years ago. I was working in a comic shop and it basically died. So yeah, it's nice to see some some cards back on the market. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon for some more reviews.